Brother, the Lord has opened my eyes about Donald Trump, the man of sin. But I know many people, friends or family, church members, people calling themselves Christians, who adore Trump and continue to support him and believe he is the savior of the USA and even the world's best hope. Their eyes are on this world and Donald Trump, and they believe in him. Why is it that this man's greatest supporters are people who call themselves Christians? I know that some of them are not true Christians, but I know others who are truly Christians. How can they be so deceived by this ungodly man of sin? You know, I thank you for that question. That's the sort of question I get from many people. And I would like to try to bring something to your attention, to try to help understand uh, this strange thing that's happening right before our eyes. But first, let me agree that many of the so-called Christians who support Trump are not true born-again believers. They are people who take the name of Christian, but their hearts are far from God. They love this world, and they merely call themselves Christians as part of a large community that claims Christianity. These people will appeal to him on Judgment Day, but he will say to them, Depart from me. I never knew you. They were never truly saved. They were never right with God. But then there are those sincere Christians, true believers, who are currently deceived by the Antichrist Donald Trump. By the grace of God, many of them have come to our channel and have sent us comments saying how their eyes have been opened. They no longer follow Trump, and they now recognize his evil. They have repented that they ever supported that evil man of sin. And we believe that every true Christian will eventually come out of the Trump cult and repent that they ever stood with Antichrist Trump. So as I said, there are still yet this vast number of true Christians who are still under the sway of Trumpism and the MAGA cult. Why is that? And how can that be? Let me offer one passage of scripture that I think helps to explain why Trump's strongest base of support comes from people calling themselves evangelicals are calling themselves Christians, even Bible-believing born-again Christians. Luke chapter 16 and verse 8 says this, The children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. In other words, this verse is saying, the people who belong to this world are more shrewd in the ways of the world than are the children of the light. The children of the darkness are more practiced in the ways of darkness than are the children of light. There's an old saying, you can't con a con man. It's hard to deceive a deceiver because he has a deceptive mind and he has his mind on the lookout for deception. He thinks everybody is just as dishonest and self-centered as he is. But an honest and sincere Christian is not looking for others to be deceptive. In fact, the Bible tells us we should think the best of others. So in other words, it's easier to deceive many Christians because they are just naturally more willing to trust the con artist. Christians are looking for good in people, and they tend to take a person's word as being good. Honest people are often easily scammed because they tend to believe that the scammer is honest with them. The children of the light are less shrewd in the ways of the world. Donald Trump is a con man, a confidence man who has deceived many Christians into believing his sincerity. When he sells them a Trump Bible, they buy it. When he sells them his lies, they buy them. When he calls himself a Christian and says that he is their champion, they buy that. 
That's why Jesus warned his disciples to be as wise as serpents and yet innocent as doves. Be aware of the schemes of the devil. Don't put your trust in man. Many Christians have put their trust in Donald Trump, a con man. They have been taken in by this confidence man, a man who has gained their confidence and is scamming them. So the message is, let's pray for our brothers and sisters who have been taken in by this con artist. Let's not despise them for being susceptible to the devil's scheme to scam them, to deceive them, to con them. Let's not think ourselves wiser or better or stronger because but for the grace of God, we would be one of them right now. Let's pray for them and let's patiently keep on trying to help them escape this deception.